just growing up so fast all of a sudden it's making me want to cry oh you don't like that yeah that food was a homicide if you don't have one get one what's up girl get up it's excellent y'all i want to be So I just woke up. <clears throat> I did brush my teeth and wash my face already, but it's dry because I'm going to be putting on a face mask and my hair looks crazy because I'm going to be washing it today. So it is self-care Sunday and I want to put on a face mask and wash my hair with some new products that I got. My hair is due for a wash. Like it's crazy. It's so dry, especially like at the roots. And I do deal with some alopecia areata, the occasional one where you can see my hair. It makes little hidden bald spots and then it grows back. So I deal with that, but I wrote the punches because it's from my thyroid prop. So let me just show you really quickly the um, PR that I got. I got some new PR packages. So I did receive this moisturizer. It's the Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer from the Inky List. And you can use it day or night. It's it's a nice thick cream and you can see I've been using it almost every day. I really like it. I do see the plumping effects and it's very moisturizing and a little goes a long way. I will link it down below and I just massage it on my face and neck twice a day and it's a nice addition to my skincare shout out to the inky list and then la octane sent me their dry shampoo spray i actually never used dry shampoo before it's gonna be interesting to try this coco kine sent me this package here i love coco kine i've been using coco kine for like a while now so this is the body care i normally get skincare from coco kine so now they have a body care line that i'm trying out so they have the retinol body cream right here it has 0.5 percent retinol with ceramide in it so it's very very low it says to massage all over your body i'm currently pregnant so i won't really be massaging it all over my body it improves the uneven texture and smooth skin so if you're looking for a good retinol cream that is cruelty free vegan and for sensitive skin try out the coco kind i love coco kind it's so gentle and then i've been using their smoothing stick hair on my arms for my little chicken skin thing that I have here and it's been working very well. It's like a balm and you just roll it on and I really like it. And then they also have a ceramide oil stick which is for moisture if you have really dry skin. I haven't tried this one out yet. But I have the serum just like this for the face so I know it's gonna do wonders on the body. And then we got some socks that I'm gonna put on tonight. So thank you, Coco Kine, for my package here. Lastly, I got the Taraji P. Henson. They sent me a gift here, which I'm actually going to use today in the shower. The Make It Rain Hydrating Conditioner. The Honey Fresh Cleanse Detox Hydrate Shampoo. The Mask. Some fragrance here. The Namaste. It smells really good. I smelled it already. Learning shimmering body lotion with vanilla and two rose. I love the aesthetics of the Taraj, Taraj P. Henson line and I've had a couple of items from them before. None of these though, a couple of years ago and it smells so good. So I'm so excited to try these. More than likely it's gonna be a one-time use because it's only a three ounce bottle and I have a lot of hair. Probably gonna just be able to only use it once. But I'm gonna tell you my first impressions on the products. Right now, I'm actually going to be steaming my face with my steamer got this off of amazon while my steamers um steaming up i'm gonna be using the vanessa hugens clay mask which i got in pr a couple months ago i used it once before i think i shared it with you guys and i really liked it so i'm gonna use my facial applicator that i got from the dollar tree a long time ago which works pretty well it looks like this like a plum Smells nice and subtle. I really like this stuff. I need to use it more often. I'm in desperate need of a self-care day, y'all. Yesterday, or last night, I should say, I threw up my food. Some days I just get very nauseous. I don't even know why I'm still vomiting at this stage. I feel more nausea than vomiting. 
just nausea without the vomiting. But sometimes it does push me to the edge where I do vomit depending on what I eat and it just doesn't agree with the baby. <clears throat> but I was so surprised that I threw up at 1 a.m. It actually wasn't even last night. It was like early this morning, but we were up late. And right in here, I'm feeling some sinus issues. I woke up nauseous. I wake up nauseous almost every day <laughs> now. And the nausea pills are not even helping all the time. Yesterday, I turned 27 weeks exactly. So I feel like every time I turn a new week, I kind of get a little nauseous. I'm going to start to apply it now that my, my pores are opening up from the steam. I am not the best at putting on a face mask. I'll just be slapping it on. From what I can remember, I don't think this one dries like too hard. From what I can remember, I'm not sure. But especially after vomiting last night, or I should say early morning, I definitely need a face mask. I've been popping them blood vessels in my face from vomiting at, like two weeks ago. I popped almost every blood vessel in my face. And they finally cleared up and then last night when I vomited, I was so nervous, but the food was so fresh. It wasn't even that fresh. I think my body just didn't agree with it because it was right there on my chest. This steamer feels so good. It's helping with my sinuses. You need a face steamer, y'all. If you don't have one, get one. And it helps with my sinuses. I get more sinus problems now that I'm pregnant. My sinuses get inflamed a lot and the steamer be coming through. I lied. It did dry hard. Well, I didn't really lie. I couldn't remember. But I'm about to wash off the face mask in the shower using very warm water. But this face mask, I highly recommend. It does really get into the pores and I can just feel it pulling out all the impurities. So to take off the excess and to clean my face, I'm going to go in with the La Roche Posay Hydrating Face Cleanser. This is not the normal one that I use. I ran out of the other one. So yeah. So now that my face is our clean, I'm going to go ahead and just hydrate my hair. I have low porosity hair, so I have to really like open up the follicles under the water for a little minute before I can go in with product or it's just going to like sit on top of my head. But my hair was very tangled because it was just unkept for a while under wigs. You know how that go. I'm going to jump in with the Honey Fresh Cleanser Shampoo, lather it into my roots and then bring it down to the ends because my entire head is dirty and I need it. First impressions on this product, it smells really good. It was not as moisturizing as I would want it to be because I have low porosity hair but I think it also has a lot to do with the fact that my hair was a bit matted from the sweat it suds up really nicely so now I wash it out and then I'm gonna go in with the conditioner so the conditioner was very 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 hydrating I like it I finished this whole tube because it's just so small <laughs> and I do have like some heat damage where my hair did get heat trained but I'm okay with that that doesn't bother me at all but I do really like the conditioner the conditioner is nice. You could just see how it's sitting on my hair. I do have low porosity hair, so you know it does sit on my hair. And then I go in with the shower comb that I got from the Dollar Tree and just kind of spread it out evenly. And I let that sit for maybe two, three minutes. And then I go in with the conditioner. I finished this whole thing. It's a mask, actually. It's very thick, like lotion. It looks like a paste. You see how sticky it is? Like it literally stand alone. I didn't think it was gonna spread out over my entire head, but it did. It actually melted into my hair. I was so surprised about that. I'm definitely going to repurchase this. Well, I'm going to purchase it because this is PR. I'm going to purchase like a bigger bottle because there are bigger bottles of these things. So I like to use a plastic cap over my mask or deep conditioner. So let the steam kind of just really go in. If you want like a more intensive deep conditioning, I highly recommend using heat, like going un under a hooded dryer. Well, I just walk around and just let the regular heat just trap in. Nothing crazy. 
All right, while I wait for my hair to deep condition, I am making some breakfast for Mila. She loves bacon, so she requested some bacon and she doesn't like it too crispy. So I think this is a perfect texture and I just cut them in half so it's easy for her to eat. So I got the store brand plain bagels of Stop and Shop, the mini ones, and they're like pre-sliced. And when I tell you they're so soft, well, they're not like buttery soft, but they're like the perfect soft. I don't even know how to explain it. And Mila's been loving this and I've been loving it. So I'm just gonna toast it for like a minute and a half because she doesn't like it too crispy. So I do half apple juice, do the rest water. Okay, that's from Mila. And then I'm gonna peel a tangerine for her to eat on the side. Too much things on Mila's plate, she will not eat it. Mila, come eat. All right, I am all out of the shower. It's time to do some quick skincare. So I'm gonna be using the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid as the first thing on my face. And you're supposed to use this on damp skin so that it can seep into the pores with ease. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my Coco Kine Vitamin C Serum. Add two to three drops, probably three. Just rub it in on my face. So nice little glow. Bring it down to the neck. And I want my skin to be slippery for a reason because I am gonna use a gua sha song. And now I'm gonna be adding the Elemis Superfood Oil. It's a facial oil for massaging. And I'm really gonna put it right here where I have the TMJ. I'm gonna focus a lot there. I'm gonna just rub out the oil for the gua sha. This is the gua sha stone that I'm using that I got from Dollar Tree. The last vlog, y'all know that I'm dealing with some TMJ issues. Hair on the right side of my face where it's clenching and locking my jaw and it hurts to eat. Um, the other gua sha stone that I had was a little thicker, more heavy duty, but it broke, it fell and broke. I was so sad. But I got a temporary one for $1.25 from Dollar Tree and I've been using it. So I'm just going like this. And then when I get right here, I kind of go back and forward. It feels so good because this is where the pain is, right at the top part of my jaw. I've been focusing a lot on the right side. So I wanna give the left side some tender love and care. And I really like to do my sinuses at the top. Flip it over and use that curved part. And it feels so good. This helps to loosen up the muscles, the inflammation in your face helps to open up your sinuses, it helps with TMJ, it slims your face naturally when you do it. Um, I like to do it at least like three to four times a week. You gotta make sure your face has some type of moisture, like oil on it, so that you're not like damaging the tissues in your skin. You just want it to slide. So this is how I do it. And then I bring it back here, it feels so good. I feel like I'm massaging myself, it's excellent y'all. Ooh, it feels so, so good. I'm really gonna go to the doctor for this because it's ridiculous. I'm gonna be using the Inky List Bioactive Repair Moisturizing Plumping Cream that I shared with you guys earlier from PR that I've been using. And a little goes a long way down to my neck. Massage it on my face. Very plumping and moisturizing. And then I've been using this Skin Fix Triple Lipid Eye Cream. That is a 360 eye cream. I shared it with you guys a few times. But well, you can use it all around the eye. So I just dab that in with my ring finger. And then lastly, I top it all off with the La Roche-Posay 70 SPF sunscreen. It's not a moisturizer, it's a sunscreen, but it is very moisturizing. It doesn't leave a white film on my face. It protects my skin and it gives me a nice dewy finish. A little goes a long way. I hate when a sunscreen has white film. I'm loving this one and look. Nice and dewy. Now it is time to tackle this hair. This is how the hair is looking after using all of the Siraj P. Henson products. I'm not gonna make it air dry. I am going to blow dry it with my new blow dryer brush. All right, I am all ready here to 
start using my new blow dry brush that I got from Amazon. It's gonna be my first impressions. I hope that it blow dries my hair properly. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using Color Wow and the Trust Me Keratin Smooth, the heat protectant. It's a cool setting, two levels for heat. So I'm gonna put it on the highest heat. So basically what this brush is doing right here is mimicking a Dominican blowout because it's a rounded brush. So what I do, I just run it through the hair first because I do have kinky hair. So I start from the ends to kind of like detangle it a little and then I work my way up until it's like fully detangled. And then I started to roll it over and bring it up and down, up and down to cause some tension to make it fully dry. Wow, it's just like I straightened my hair and it's fully dry, you guys have them right there. So the key is to do it in small sections if you have really kinky hair like I do, or your hair will get tangled. And I feel like this is a good amount right here. I hit it with a cool shot. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and see how it comes out. Look at how my hair turned out after the blowout. I just did two big fat twists and these are the results. Oh my gosh. I have on one of the maternity tops that I shared in the last vlog and also have on a band, a band today because the baby has been getting heavier and pushing down on my bladder and I've been feeling pressure in my JJ area and it's been hurting. So I'm about to do something with the top of my hair though. I'm taking the crown, I'm taking the crown. Okay, so I did sweat out my roots though. I was sweating so much last night. After I did my self care shower and everything, I did a lot and I started sweating. I'm loving the blow dryer results. I didn't use any flat iron and I feel like my hair and I used it on Mila too. I'm gonna insert a little clip right here. <laughs> the shrinkage is real. I'm thinking, no. Hi, girls. Hi, YouTubers. Show us on YouTube. <laughs> It really blew out her hair really nicely. So we're about to go to another restaurant review. <laughs> this place is called Crispy Burger. And um, I'm excited because I love chicken sandwiches and my TMJ. It didn't subside, but I've been doing the gua sha stone every night and I could chew better, a little bit better now, a little bit better. Okay, so I did this with my hair. I pulled it up in this little stupid pompadour. <laughs> Um, and just put like this clip back here. I feel like I'm from the UK. Fluff out my hair a little bit. So I'm putting on, well, I put it on the Taraji P. Henson fragrance mist. I like the way it's mine. It doesn't last too, too long because it's a fragrance mist. And then I just felt like it would go well with the Alien. So I layered it. Not anything too strong. And Plain Jane. Okay, I have on uh, my Target earrings. Just, you know, casual, cute, nothing serious. You feel me? This crop jacket, just to break up the black. Got on my Nikes that I haven't worn in like a year. That's the calm look. We out here and I think I'm cute. And it's chilly now, it's like windy right here. <sighs> What is this area called, babe? It's like this main street area. Once again, Flushing, I think. That's where like all the spots be at in Flushing. So that's where they be wanting us to go. I think I'm hungry. Oh, here I go, babe. Hi, how you doing? It smells good in here. So we got the 
I'm gonna do the crispy chicken burger combo. And then they got fried chicken. You can have a whole fried chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna do the crispy chicken burger. Wings, fries, or nuggets. You said chicken. What did you say? You can pick from the chicken wings, fries, and nuggets. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll do the fries. And then which one? Do you do? The whole chicken. So also we have um, the fried chicken wings or thigh and lax in between mixer. If you guys are willing to wait, we also have the fried whole chicken and bistro black is also the most popular item. You wanna wait on that? Yeah. Yeah, we'll okay. end this too. No problem. Okay. What else would you like? Uh, mozzarella sticks. Um, yeah. Oh, sure. oh, the food smells so good. We, we got so much food. I can't wait to try it. Y'all know I love chicken during this break. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Babe, not me in my happy dance. I hope it tastes good because it smells really good. Right, Mm-hmm. All right, this is some of the food that came out. The chicken skewers, the crispy fries, onion rings, the sweet chili, the sweet chili ones, the sweet and spicy ones. Yeah. Mashed potato. And look at this corn in the cup. That looks so I love that New York cup. Babe, I'm gonna try that. Here, 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 here. <laughs> you ever seen that guy do the review? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, take that. Yeah, take the first bite. Here, 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 here. Give <laughs> me a little Caesar salad. Here, y'all get the first little bite. I want a Caesar salad. Here, 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 here. You never heard him do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, what? What are you doing? Yeah, for food. <laughs> Here, 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 here. <laughs> Baby, that's fine. Video all of her hair. Shout out to Hubby. What would I do without you? What would I do without you, baby? Mm, go. You gotta try it. Oh, you don't like this. It tastes like it was made on the grill. Thank you. So if you some extra sauce. Oh, the extra oh. sauces, okay. If you uh, see under the menu, mm -hmm. that's our crispy house. Crispy house? Sauce. Okay. This is a pineapple I just marked. Oh, oh my TMJ. Mm. Mm. I'm kissing. Oh, I'm so yeah, look at this. The fried chicken is so crispy. We're gonna take some of this to go. We have a cheeseburger, a wrap, some nuggets, mozzarella sticks, and more fries. These fries are so freaking good. Right here. Yeah. Tell them how much they should come here. It's really good. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten for real. He said that the chicken was better than Popeyes. What? But the crisp. The crispiness, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Yeah, that food was a homicide. Homicide. It was excellent. We had to bring the rest to go. They went to go find a bathroom. Y'all, yeah. 10 out of 10, rig man. Because that <laughs> was good. If you're in the mood for any of those things, and they had like way more stuff on the menu too, we couldn't fit no more food in our body. I was surprised when Lakeith got full. My Dollar Tree Sandy Wipes coming in clutch right now. Use the bathroom. <laughs> Babe, huh? food was a homicide, right? Mm-hmm. I'm full. I know. I couldn't fit nothing else in my stomach. I mostly ate the chicken burger. So you want to run home real quick? Yeah. And then we go get Mila? Yeah. We brought back mm -hmm. some food for Mila to eat, too. Hey, you guys. It is... It is Wednesday. Wednesday. What is today? March 20th. I got this lady in my ear, Miss Siri, because I am on the way to a Target that I think I only went to once. All right. I'm not going to my favorite Target because last time they didn't really have maternity clothes. And I think I just want to look to see if I could find some bottoms because I got some maternity tops. I just want to see if I got some, could find some bottom maternity bottoms. It's getting nice out. Oh, let me turn down this air too. Y'all, can y'all even hear me? <laughs> but I hear you. I hear y'all loud and clear. I see y'all comments about the termites. 
on the last vlog. Almost every other comment was about a stream. I think those are termites. I think those are termites. I think those are termites. I think those are termites when I was freaking out about the flying ants. So I did put my name on the exterminator list. That's how you do it. You can't reach out to a landlord. I'm not in a house. So I did reach out to maintenance and they put me on the exterminator list for termites, like the extermination for termites. Oh, I'm turning left. <sighs> so we're gonna see. Just in case they are termites, I'm gonna get the extermination. And if they aren't termites, bro, what is wrong with you, bro? And if they're not termites, then I'll still just get it treated anyways, just to be on the safe side, right? But they did favor flying ants, but I did do a little investigation <laughs> and like looked on Google at the two pictures to kind of decipher between the two. And it was kind of hard to like figure it out. So just to be on the safe side, we're going to get that treatment done, the extermination, just in case. I haven't seen them come back. They only came back like maybe a day later, just a few. I sprayed it again with that concoction and they haven't been back. So, oh dear us. So, oh, it's mad bumps. So we gonna see. I'm just watching, cause they're not gonna come until like a week, cause they come on a specific day. So I'm gonna be watching out to see if they come back and you know, they sneaky. From the research I've done, they're sneaky. They be eating up your wood. My dressers are made out of wood from Ikea and I don't want them eat, slowly eating down my wood. The food. <laughs> so I don't know and I've never seen those before. I don't even know what the heck. I've never dealt with termites in my life. That was it's just such a random thing. Like if it's not one thing, it's another. So yeah, yeah. So that is what we're doing. I'm gonna go over to Target. And then I also need to pick up some stuff for Mila. Mila has like a growth spurt, which is which is much known that that's gonna happen. But it just happened out of nowhere. Her teeth that fell out is growing back already. Talk about really trying to get out of the move out the way for her baby brother, right? Just growing up so fast all of a sudden is making me want to cry. <laughs> So she is having a growth spurt. She's growing out of her pajamas. Almost all of them are like high waters on her. I have to be putting the dresses on her because Mila has long legs. She's not really tall. She just got long legs. She got that from her dad. And you know, I don't, I want my baby to be comfy. You know, I don't really want to buy her clothes clothes because she definitely grew out of her regular clothes. She wears uniform to school. So like when we go out on the weekends and stuff and when she has a break, you know, when we go out, Mila don't really got that much regular stuff to wear because she's outgrown so much stuff and just so fast. Y'all seen when, when we got her the vans for school, she was already a size 12. Like right now she's like 11 and a half, 12 and they don't have half sizes in vans with the 12 fit her. But yeah, Mila had a little growth spurt. So we're gonna, I'm gonna see what I could find in Target. If they don't really have anything i'll just probably go to my normal favorite target why that food that we had at the restaurant that thing kept me so full that food was so filling like i haven't felt that full in forever y'all but it was so good i actually am hungry right now but i just took my thyroid medication and i have to wait an hour the endocrinologist said before I can eat. So I just got up real early and I'm like, let me just go. It ain't even that early, it's nine o'clock now, but I got up at 8.30. Mila didn't go to school today because one of her classmates, this is a lot of traffic. One of her classmates that are a little bit more heavier than her, well, a lot more heavier than her, kind of pushed her by accident during recess. And Mila fell hard on the floor, she said and she was crying and everything. I think she didn't feel the pain until afterwards. So she's dealing with some really bad back pain and like the top of her bum. So I gave her some baby Advil after she had dinner last night and I rubbed her down with some castor oil, but she still woke up with the, woke up with the pain. I just want to kind of like make her stay home because she's sore and they wear like this big behind backpack and Mila's so little bit. She can't take hits like that, you know? So Lakeith is home with her. I'm just running out real quick before he has to go to work. Um, we'll see what I can and find out if I can find some stuff, y'all. All right, so this is definitely a different target. The whole setup is different. It's like a more out there. But I always gotta stop at this little foolishness. I don't know why, what is wrong with my brain? What the heck is this? Oh, that's candy. All the Easter stuff. I really like Easter, especially now that I have Mila. Okay. All right, they got a lot of other Easter stuff. 
a big bag. I gotta focus up. I found the clothes, but this is not maternity. I just wanted to look. These white pants look like they would fit me because there's a drawstring. It's an extra large, so it looks so big. My goodness. We better have maternity here. Hmm. I can't wait until I get back slim. Fit back, my waist could fit back into jeans. <laughs> okay, y'all, they have stuff in the maternity section at this one. A lot of bottoms to choose from. So I might be in the fitting room right quick. There's a couple of other things here too. Y'all, I found so many things, and I'm heading to the fitting room now, so I hope it fits. At least some of them, so we're gonna see. Alright, let's do a quick little fitting room try on haul. So this is a black bodysuit, and I got it in a size large. I really like the way this one fits me because I'm able to just step into it opposed to using the clamps. My bodysuits normally have clamps and they hurt me over time. Sleeves on it are okay. They're not as thick as I would like it. I like it because I could pair it with different things and it's comfortable. So these jeans are actually really nice. They make me feel back to normal a little bit. This is the first pair of jeans that I've had on since, since my belly started to get bigger. But they fit so well, you guys. The elastic band. And I believe I got a size large i'll put the size on the screen i don't remember i really like these these linen pants they look weird <laughs> because i don't think you're supposed to see the band part that wouldn't look right with a bodysuit that would look better with like a shirt over it but i really like the way why well, it got so dark sorry i really like the way that it fits on me i just wanted something cozy and comfortable and flowy for when spring really starts to kick in but i like this color it's like a beige -ish tan more like beige but yeah it fits really nicely and i like that it goes over my ankles those skirts that y'all saw me going through i was trying to find a size but i like these this skirt because it has the built-in shorts i'm sorry for the darkness i don't know what's going on but what i don't like is the length it's just too short for my use like i mean it's not writing up or anything if you're into this then it would be nice but i like the built-in shorts I just don't feel like the shorts are long enough. Like part of my thighs are still gonna kind of rub together, but the support of the band on the belly is nice. I like the support on the band. And then I just wanted to show you a different color here. Um, I didn't get these two skirts though. I don't know, I didn't really like the skirts too much. It wasn't too flattering on me. Maybe because they were kind of close, like a body con type of thing. But these pants right here, I thought they were maternity. Those are for postpartum. I'm there squeezing up baby boy, not realizing. It was kind of hard to get into, but it was squeezing my stomach, y'all. Do you see that? That is compression. Oh my goodness, Extrema, take this off right now. Are you dumb? I read it afterwards. It's postpartum tights, so I don't know. I guess that would be in the maternity section, I guess. Look at me, no sir. Get up, girl, get up. And then this little dress situation is like a tennis dress i guess is that what it's called it has built-in shorts these shorts feel a lot better and it has a peekaboo in the back i like this but i didn't get it i didn't feel like it was too too flattering to me i love the color on my skin tone but i don't know it just looks weird I don't, maybe not. I don't know, but I did not get it because it didn't make me say wow. And then this, I just felt like trying it on. I knew I wasn't going to get it, but it's supposed to be like one of those lingerie flowy dresses, you know, the style to wear lingerie dresses outside. But um, I don't like this yellow on me and I don't even know. Maybe I just tried it on for y'all. I don't like it. It has two slits on the side. It, it's, mm -mm. pick it off. Got this shirt. It was on sale for like $2.99. It's a size small. I didn't get it because, oh, you can see my booty. Oh gosh, it's too tight. And then this one I tried on the outside of the fitting room. It is like a satin button down. It fits so nicely. I've changed y'all. All of these self-care stuff are locked up. Wow. Y'all be stealing like that? Y'all be stealing like that? This music loud as hell. I'm about to get up out of here now.
Back in the house, y'all. Mila wants to show you guys her drawing. She's been trying to keep active while resting. She made Hello Kitty. <laughs> Good job. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the things that I actually did get from Target. So it's basically a Target maternity haul. Um, There's just two items that are not maternity that I got, but it's still cute and I wanna show you. So the first thing, I did end up getting those jeans. They fit perfectly. I even retried everything on a while ago to show Babe before he went to work and he loves it. He likes me to malt till for him. So these were $30 and I got them in a size 12 but they fit perfectly and I know it's gonna grow with me. This part stretches and it has a little bit of distress here. It's almost making me feel like back, well, pre-pregnancy. I don't even know how it feels to wear jeans anymore, but it's something about maternity bottoms that hits different when your belly is big. It makes a world of a difference. Like I highly recommend wearing maternity bottoms or clothes. It just, it just hits different. And now that I'm, my belly is just bigger and hits lower, it's just, I need it. And then I did get the linen. He loves these. So they look better when you have a shirt over it when I showed you guys in the fitting room. And I got these in a large because I just wanted that nice oversized flowy look. It's gonna look nice with some white sandals or my Tory Burch black slides. Like I could even wear it now. It's a nice material. It was $30 for this as well. It has pockets and I, I really feel like that's so important. Regular linen pants would not fit me at all, even if I tried and I love this color. And then I did try this on outside of the fitting room because I've seen it outside. Um, I did end up getting it. It was on sale for $9 and 60 cents. It was originally $32. I'm guessing maybe it was like a winter item, but it's so perfect for spring. Like it's the perfect thickness. I might even wear this on Easter. It's like the satin. Y'all seen how I looked on it. I, I love it. I got a large. It also had a maroon color, but maroon wasn't given for spring. This is my aesthetic. I just love this nice cream color. The large fits perfectly and it tells you on here to choose your, your pre-pregnancy size. It's a great clearance item and in an oversized button down I would naturally get a large prior to pregnancy fits perfect I love the way it drops on me and I did get the black bodysuit I got it in a medium the medium fits perfectly I'm normally a large in bodysuits but this one is kind of made a little oversized and stretchy obviously for pregnancy and it's $22 for this one and all of these are by Isabel Isabel by Ingrid plus Isabel I'll try to link it if I can but these are so this is a must. I'm a bodysuit girl and I still rock my bodysuits. I just don't button them. <laughs> and when I do button them, they hurt a lot. So this is so nice because I just slip into it and it fits perfectly. It's just gonna be so awesome to wear underneath clothes when it starts to get warmer, post-pregnancy, awesome. So next that you guys didn't see, this item here, it is a shapewear shorts. It's made for every stage of pregnancy. It's targeted to shape and support the belly and the back. It's lightweight, it's 360, and I'm gonna show you guys me trying it on here because I had to try it on at home. It was one of those things that you couldn't try on in the fitting room. I got it in a size large and it's on like seamless, it's so much support. One that I have on now that I'm wearing does it's not shorts or anything like that. And I got a small medium. That is starting, this one's starting to get tight. This one has room and it's gonna grow with me. And I love the shorts part because then I could wear it under dresses. Now that baby boy's getting bigger, he's really bearing down on and I've been feeling a lot of pressure and a lot of pain that I did not experience with Mila. Cause it's so true, most boys, they just carry low. Like they just be trying to bust out of there. Like they don't want to be up in there too, too long. <laughs> Sometimes it's so painful to walk y'all. Like I don't even know. But the belly band is a must at this stage for me. At this, I did take it off to try it on. It is a clamp clip, but it has like little sunflowers on it. I gotta get my nose done y'all. Oh my gosh, ignore that. But I love it. It's like a nice clear. It was $5 for this by Wall Fable. You know, just put my hair up, you know. Well, right now I have a scrunchie, so it looks weird, but I just think this is gonna be cute for the spring and the summer, as long as it don't break. And then I also got these barrettes, these little butterfly ones. This is for adults, not for kids. Uh, they also had the matte one. If I wanna do that little hairstyle where I just hold back a few hairs, it all depends, but I love the colors on here, spring and summer. Love it, love it, love it. And this was also $5. And they had a lot of other jewelry items, but I was like, let me check. So that's enough for the Target maternity. I didn't wild out. I feel like I got a couple of great pieces that are kind of like staples, like in a sense, 
Um, what is that wardrobe for? It could go with a lot of different things that I had. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them jeans. I also um, got a PR package when I got, um, I had to go to a access point to pick this up because UPS get on my damn nerves. Like I'm not one to bash companies, but UPS gives me such a hard time. They're like the only ones that I literally watch them through the window, not ring the bell. Y'all will take the time out to write on the tag. Sorry, we missed you and put it on the thing and not ring the bell. They're lazy, like they don't wanna ring the bell, they don't wanna bring nothing in. And the package is so little. Like y'all could've even left this out on the floor. And they do this to me all the time. I don't experience this with nobody else but UPS. Like Amazon is the best, DHL is awesome. FedEx stay iffy, but they'll leave it. UPS, get on my damn nerves. This PR that I got, so I got some new lippies from YSL Beauty, again. And um, this one is Carmel Swirl. Let's just look at that real quick. Why it's up and coming through for you, girl. Look at that, ooh. Mm -hmm. You wanna put on lipstick? Yeah, but it died. Oh, your iPad died? Yeah, I'm gonna try. You wanna try the lipstick? Yeah. All right, let me put it on you, come. Why? What do you mean why? You wanna put it on yourself? Yeah. Your lips are wet. No, it's not. <laughs> no? Okay, don't, Mila, this is expensive lipstick. Come on. Oh, okay, good job, good job. All right. Ooh, it look nice on your lips, Mimi. It's a nice subtle. But I don't see it. I only see it at the bottom. Can I show the YouTubers? Yeah, come on. She has on her house clothes, y'all. Sorry. Yeah, Wait, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, that's not what I want. 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 Yeah, that's not what and then the next one is Blushed Malo. They all have the same thing. Oh, I love that. That's like a mauve. Mauve. Mila is really like into like Mauve. makeup stuff. She likes to go around my vanity. Oh, this one is Mauve. nude. Woo! I'm gonna get so much use out of this nude one. Mm. I love these YSL Mommy? lipsticks. I have a couple of them. Yes, my baby. The first lipstick smells smells like pineapples. It smells good. And then the last one is Peachy Glow. These are perfect for like, look. So some of them come up dark, like, but they're not dark when you put them on Peachy Glow. I'm loving this for the spring, y'all. So yeah, that's that's about it. I got me a vanilla latte. Ice latte from McDonald's. And it's good. Yeah, you guys. So that, that's about it. A little Target haul. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Subscribe to this one video. <laughs> yes, make sure you are subscribed. That's what we Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> make sure you are subscribed. Um, thumbs up the video for more vlogs from oh, your girl. Thank you and for the next video. Yeah. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Love you all. Love you all. You can work for my mom's some yummy baby stuff. <laughs> thank you. Bye.